I believe the main, the main strength of the apprenticeship system in Denmark is that for the apprentices and the young people or the people following it, it leads to employment. And for the enterprises, it actually leads to tailor-made uh, workforce, so tailor-made employees, the right qualifications. Um, we've just undergone a big reform and, um, and I believe that's a very, very important step in the right direction, focusing on the quality of especially the school, school part of, the, uh, of our apprenticeship, apprenticeship system. But uh, I still need, we still need to look further at the attractiveness of the system, the attractiveness to young people as well as to older people. And we need to be sure that we have a system which is actually responsive to companies' needs. And they are changing. Our world is changing, and so does the, the circumstances, the conditions for our companies. And we need to make sure that the apprenticeship system follows that, those needs. Uh, not just the subject matter, but also actually in terms of the structures. So I believe we need to have a look at our structures and see how we can improve those. That it definitely, it, it's on the input side, so on, on having other structures to, um, to, have, to attract young people to the system could also be in terms of uh, what are the conditions for the companies when they are offering apprenticeships. Um, is there something there we can do to make it more attractive, to make it more flexible? Because that is a very, very high in demand from, from companies and we need to listen to that because they are not just training institutions, they are first and foremost businesses and they're there to, to make money and to, to make further jobs and, and they need to comply with that first of first of all, and then fit apprenticeships into those conditions. So I do believe we need to, to look at those, uh, those conditions. So specialization, digitalization changes the worlds of company and we need to make sure that it's accommodated within apprenticeship systems as well. Well, First of all, mainly on the European level, I think it's, it's important to, to take up what, what we've already started in Denmark, so uh, keep on having a very high focus on quality. We need to have a high quality in our apprenticeship systems, um, and we need to have apprenticeship systems that are responsive to the companies. So the ownership of the companies and the ownership of the labor market to this type of education is crucial, and it should be should be recognized and it, they we need to we need at a European level as well to promote this ownership and um, that, they, that it should be given also in countries where you do not have the same type of system as we do here in, in Denmark. Well I do believe that they, they are they are they do see it as an investment but they are also very aware of the short-term costs of it. So I believe that, first of all, we need to, to be so much clearer in our information that it is a necessity, and also maybe provide some guidelines as to how important it is to have apprentices and, and which amount. So make it clear how many people are actually leaving the labor market now and how few are coming in via the apprenticeship system, because that is going to be a, a major problem in, in Denmark if we do not succeed to, um, to have an action done at this, this level.